Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a SVG with colored layers and I'm going to be doing this in Adobe Illustrator so I'm going to create a new file and then I'm going to go to Google and the image that I'm going to be doing today is Cookie Monster so I'm going to go to Google and search for a Cookie Monster head PNG and the difference between a PNG and a JPEG and an SVG is a PNG is an image that doesn't have a background. A JPEG is an image but it, it may have a background to it. And an SVG is an image that you can cut on your silhouette or your Cricut machine. And I personally have a Cricut machine which I will be uploading into Design Space later on. So I'm going to right click and download the image. And once I have downloaded the image, I'm going to go back to Adobe Illustrator. We're going to go up at the top of the menu. At the top of the menu, I'm going to select File. And then where it says Place, I'm going to select Place. And then I'm going to my files and select the image that I have downloaded. And as you can see, this image, even though I did search for a PNG because I right-clicked it and downloaded it, it still has the background. But if you actually go to the website and save the image, the background will not be there. But that is okay because we're going to get rid of it. So I'm going to go up to the top and change the Essentials menu to Essentials Classic. And once you change it to Essentials Classic, you will have more options as you will see. And as you can see, this toolbar popped up and you're going to go where it says Image Trace. You're going to click the drop down menu. And based on the number of colors you have is how you will select it. But for this image, I'm going to select three colors. And once the image has converted, I am going to click the menu bar over at the top. And I like to play with these tools where it says path, corners, and noise. And this, by playing with these, I'm not exactly sure what each one is specifically for. But I noticed that as I move the bars up or down on certain images, it makes it more clean. And you can just adjust it based on your image. But after that is done, I'm going to click expand at the top of the menu. And this is just going to separate each of the layers into their own colors. And after that has been done, you want to go up to the top and select object and ungroup. You want to ungroup your image so you will be able to edit each of the layers. So once it has been ungrouped, I'm going to change it back to Essentials and go to the Layers tab and drop down the menu where you can see each of the layers and all of the colors. And the next step will be to remove this background. So I'm going to select it and click Delete. And after that has been done, I'm going to select the eyes, the white part of the eyes. And you want to select one and then press Shift and click the other object to select multiple objects at one time. And also you can select the objects by clicking in the right side on the layers tab, but you still have to press shift to select multiple layers. And after you have selected these layers, you want to group them together or go to con Pound path, which is found in the objects tab, and you're going to click make. And this is so that the layers will be the layer of the same color will be together as you can see. So when you cut them with your machine, you don't have to cut them separately. If they're the same color, they will all be grouped together. And the next thing you want to do is select all of the black because that is the other color that has multiple layers. So we're going to click it and Press shift, hold shift to select all the other layers. And once you have done that, you're going to do the same step, which is going to the tab, selecting object, selecting compound path, and then make. And once you have done this step for all of the layers of the same color, you're going to you're going to drag and select the entire image. And once you have selected all of it, you're going to go to Object and you're going to group it. The next and last step is to save it. You're going to go to File, Save. And then you're going to title it. I'm going to title it as Cookie Monster. 
and then you want to be sure to change the format to SVG. This is a very important step so that you will be able to upload it to your editing software and cut it with your machine. And then you want to click save. And then I'm going to go into Cricut Design Space and upload the image. So I have Design Space open right here and I'm going to go down to upload and upload the image after finding it in my files. Now the image is uploaded, I'm just going to select it. And as you can see, here it is. And on the side, you can see there are different layers so that when you go to make the image, it will actually cut all of the different colors versus if it was just a PNG, you would have to do a print cut. And that is all for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already done so. I can't wait to see y'all in the next one and thank you all for watching. Bye!